The tribe of Dan was one of the 12 tribes of Israel who God had given an inheritance of land. But the Danites found that their land was too hard to conquer. Verse 1 says, The tribe of Dan was trying to find a place where they could settle, for they had not yet moved into the land assigned to them when the land was divided among the tribes of Israel. So rather than be obedient, they decided to send out some spies to go looking for an easier land to conquer. And they found it. So their army of 600 men went and killed all the defenseless people of Laish and burned it to the ground. And along the way to go do all that, they even managed to steal some idols and their very own idol worshiping priest. And they lived happily ever after. No, not at all. Misguided, disobedient, and deceived by the enemy, the Danites took their focus off of God and they did what so many people today are deceived into doing. They did what was right in their own eyes and then claimed it was a blessing from God. Although they were victorious, the Danites had disobeyed many of God's direct commandments. God was not blessing them. In fact, they were setting themselves up for a devastating judgment. For all of human history, people have been doing their own thing and then trying to say that God told them to do it or said that it was okay. People attempt to use God or a twisting of scripture to affirm their sinful behaviors. Instead of truly seeking God and obeying his word, people tend to decide what they want to do and then find a way to say that God is blessing their efforts. Listen, God loves us. He wants the best for us. But we have to remember his best for us is always going to be on his terms, not ours. We must be obedient. We cannot do whatever we want and expect God to bless us. God's blessings come when we trust him and obey his word. Jesus tells us in John 14, 23, if anyone loves me, he will keep my word and my father will love him and he will come to him and make our home with him. The path to God's will for your life will not be without its difficulties, but we can be assured that if we keep our focus on him and we're obedient to his word, his house, his life for us, is far greater than anything that we can build for ourselves.